How do you know when you're dead? Is it when your heart stops beating, or is it when your brain is no longer performing any functions? Regardless of how you define death, most people agree that once you're dead, you're gone and there is no coming back to life. At least, this has been the case up to this point. In a recent experiment, scientists were able to revive the brains of pigs who had been slaughtered just four hours beforehand, at least to some degree. The scientists make it clear that the pigs' brains were not actually brought back to life. Instead, some cellular activities within the brains were restored. Of course, there is a lot of room for confusion, so let's take a look at the details of the study and see what this could mean for the medical science of the future. Scientists at Yale performed an experiment on a collection of 32 pig brains which were obtained from the United States Department of Agriculture. The pigs were slaughtered, and after four hours, their brains were introduced to a new experimental system the researchers called BrainX. BrainX is an incredibly interesting system. Essentially, it is a method of connecting the vascular system of the brain to a solution researchers created to preserve brain tissue. This solution effectively acts as a substitute for blood. The brain needs oxygen to function. Going too long without oxygen leads to a loss of consciousness, a loss of functions, and ultimately death. Blood supplies the brain with the needed oxygen, so if there is no heart to pump the blood, it doesn't take a scientist to find out that there are going to be some serious complications. So, through the use of Brain X, researchers were able to use this oxygen-carrying solution to keep the dead brain oxygenated. The pig brains never showed signs of electrical activity. The researchers emphasized that these brains were absolutely dead and did not show any signs of life or consciousness. Rather, they observed a reduced number of cell deaths, the preservation of some anatomical structures, and even noticed some sporadic neural activities. Just because the brains didn't exhibit signs of consciousness doesn't mean the researchers weren't prepared for that outcome. However, their plan wasn't as exciting as you might think. Instead of encouraging and nurturing this revival of consciousness, the team was prepared to intervene with anesthesia in order to stop organized electrical activities. As amazing as it would be to bring something back to life hours after it was dead, there are undeniably some serious ethical dilemmas we would need to sort out before we try to dabble with doing such a thing. These results do bring up a few important realizations and questions. First, we know that the way we've defined a dead brain has been wrong. Before, it was believed that once blood flow to the brain stopped, cellular function stopped nearly immediately after, and the brain suffered irreversible damage. Now, we know that some functions can be restored, even long after the brain was declared dead. This not only brings up some exciting possibilities for medical science, it also brings up some important philosophical questions. What is death? How do we define what death is, and how do we identify when it officially occurs? More abstractly, if you die and are brought back several hours later, did you lose anything that made you, you? These are questions that will need much more time and research to answer. Music